Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. 2022-2023 Budget Highlights Key Macroeconomic Indicators Real GDP contracted by 1% in 2021 Real GDP is estimated to grow by 2% in 2022 A fiscal deficit of $2.43 billion, 1.3% of GDP, is expected for 2022 Real GDP is expected to increase by 3% in 2023 Expenditure is based on an oil price of $92 US and 50 cents per barrel and a gas price of $6 per mto Total revenue for the fiscal year 2023 is expected to be $56.175 billion. Expenditure for 2023 is expected to measure $57.685 billion A fiscal deficit of $1.510 billion, 0.8% GDP, is expected for 2023. Areas of Interest Government Assisted Tuition Expenses, GATE The rules for accessing GATE will be adjusted. Currently, across the board, GATE can only be accessed for one course of study. This will be amended so that students pursuing an initial or preliminary course of study such as a diploma or associate degree at an accredited institution, with a view to pursuing a bachelor's degree after, will be allowed to access GATE for both courses of study. This also applies to students pursuing lower-level technical and vocational educational training TVET, programs, who are desirous of moving on to an advanced diploma or bachelor's degree. Fuel Prices the prices of fuel have been increased as follows. Premium gasoline, from $6.75 per liter to $7.75 per liter. Super gasoline, from $5.97 per liter to $6.97 per liter. Diesel, from $3.91 per liter to $4.41 per liter. Kerosene, from $3.50 per liter to $4.50 per liter. 2. The Trinidad and Tobago Mortgage Bank The Trinidad and Tobago Mortgage Bank, which came out of the merger of the Trinidad and Tobago Mortgage Finance Company Limited and the Home Mortgage Bank, is expected to be fully operational by 2023. The Trinidad and Tobago Trade and Investment Promotion Agency Expert TT, INVS TT, Creative TT, and some aspects of the Trinidad and Tobago Coalition of Services Industries, TXI, will be merged to form a single trade and investment promotion entity, the Trinidad and Tobago Trade and Investment Promotion Agency, TRIPA. Tobago The budgetary allocation to the Tobago House of Assembly is $2.521 billion, 4.3% of the national budget $2.194 billion would be for recurrent expenditure $300 million for the DHA Development Program $18 million for the Unemployment Relief Program, URP, $9.2 million for SEPEP. $731.5 million is allocated to be spent by various government ministries and statutory authorities. Fiscal Measures for 2022 Personal Income Tax Allowance Increase in the personal income tax exemption limit from $84,000 to $90,000. This means, all individuals earning $7,500 a month or less will now be exempt from income tax. VAT Registration Threshold The VAT Registration Threshold will be increased from $500,000 to $600,000 to provide relief to some businesses. 3. Renewable Energy Slash Business Rebate for Agriculture Approved agriculture holdings will be offered rebates up to $25,000 for the implementation of a renewable energy system such as solar or wind. Subsidy for Housing and Village Improvement Program The maximum subsidy, government construction, applicable for the construction of a basic two-bedroom housing unit under the Housing and Village Improvement Program will be increased from $145,000 to the following levels, $165,000 for construction on flatlands $170,000 for construction on undulating lands $175,000 for construction on hilly land. Manufacturing Tax Credit 
a one-time manufacturing tax credit of up to $50,000 will be introduced for companies which make an investment in new machinery, production lines, and equipment. Energy Investment Tax Credit The investment tax credit for energy companies will be increased from 25% to 30% to stimulate exploration and development-related investments in the energy sector. Supplemental Petroleum Tax SPT. The current SPT concession for small onshore oil producers will be enhanced and a tiered system of SPT at lower rates will be implemented for shallow water marine operators, electronic payment providers and e-money users. A one-time tax credit will be offered to approved electronic payment providers and slash or e-money issuers up to a maximum of $50,000 to encourage the growth of online financial transactions and aid in the development of a digital economy. 4. Petroleum Profits Tax, PPT, the Petroleum Profit Tax, PPT, will be decreased from the current 35% to 30% for companies engaged in deep water exploration. Illegal state timbering The fine for illegal timbering will be increased from $20,000 to $100,000. Scrap iron penalties The fine for stealing or illegally obtaining old metal, selling, purchasing, trading, receiving and dealing in stolen old metal, inter alia will be increased from $15,000 to $100,000. Approved small company exemption from corporation tax Approved small companies will be exempted from paying corporation tax for a period of 5 to 6 years. Renewable energy VAT on new equipment for manufacturing companies utilizing alternate energy technologies, renewable energy options, such as gasifiers to use biomass and harnessing renewable energy through wind, solar, and water, will be waived for one year. School-to-work apprenticeship allowance An apprenticeship allowance will be implemented to encourage more businesses to hire persons aged 16 to 25 for short-term apprenticeship to provide them with relevant experience and exposure to the world of work. Companies will be eligible for an allowance of 150% of all remuneration paid under such an allowance, up to a maximum of 5% of the company's total wages and salaries bill for one year, once the company's training program is registered with the National Training Agency. 5. Fees chargeable for Commissioners of Affidavits The fees payable under the Commissioners of Affidavit Act Chapter 652 will be increased. Firearm Users License Fees Fees for all firearm users' licenses, fulls, under the third schedule of the Firearms Act Chapter 1601 will be increased by 100%, with the exception of assault weapons, which will now have significantly higher license fees than other types of firearms. Tax amnesty and amnesty on penalties and interest on taxes owed up to and including the year ending December 31, 2021, will be implemented from November 14, 2022, to February 17, 2023. Oil pollution The penalty for oil pollution will be increased from $10,000 to $100,000. Inter Island Air Bridge and Sea Bridge Travel The cost of one way travel on the air bridge will increase from $150 to $200. The cost of one way travel on the sea bridge will increase from $50 to $75, standard class, and from $100 to $150, premium class. Citizens over 60 who previously traveled standard class for free will now be required to pay $25. NB, all fiscal measures are effective January 1, 2023. Major fiscal allocations education and training, $7.453 billion health, $6.892 billion. 6. National security, $5.798 billion social grants, $5.453 billion works and transport, $3.748 billion public utilities, $2.823 billion rural development and local government, $1.887 billion agriculture, $1.330 billion housing, $0.974 billion.